Welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. Year-round, our friends at area food banks help feed our hungry neighbors. But with the holidays focused around family gatherings and food, this time of year they need a little extra help to feed those most in need. With the support of the business community and generous donors, the Mayflower Marathon helps make the holidays a little bit brighter. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here today. Thank you. Thanks so for let's us. clarify first, and Jason, I'll have you clarify this for me. The Mayflower Marathon is not a run, right? No, there's no <laughs> need for stretching for this event. Um, we are calling it a marathon because it is a nonstop 24 hour theme that we're going to be out there collecting food and funds for the holidays. So. Um, no running involved unless you're in a hurry. <laughs> Great. Now, Michelle, this is the 19th year. It is. So tell me about what we can expect, what we're asking, what the call to action is for our, our community. Well, first and foremost, the call to action is to bring food and or funds. We desperately need the food to get through the Thanksgiving holidays. It happens this weekend, and so it's right before the Thanksgiving holiday. Both food banks can get the food into our warehouses, and we can get it right back out into the community very quickly. And then in terms of money, for every dollar that we get, we can provide between three and four meals that's and so great we can yes we can really do a lot with a dollar so if you live on the south side Jason give me details around where the Mar Mayflower Marathon is this year and what folks can expect sure so I think as uh, most of the residents down in our area are gonna recall we're gonna be over at the Pembroke Mall again in Virginia Beach mm -hmm. um, that's been an annual ongoing tradition so we'll still be there come out this weekend uh, we're going to be there starting at 5.30 in the morning on Friday, and we'll be there all day, all night, 24 hours, right through till Sunday afternoon at 3. So come on out and support the team. There's going to be a lot of uh, volunteers out there that you can cheer on, and um, we're also going to have some of our local DJs there trying to keep spirits up and keep everybody yeah. motivated, and um, it should be a lot of fun. We're definitely looking forward to a good turnout this year. and then. New this year, we're adding a second location. Uh, oh, that's great. Up in Suffolk. And so um, this year, we're happy to bring on the first team Subaru in Suffolk. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have a few different opportunities there. So come by this weekend, again, starting at 5.30 on Friday morning, right through till, uh, let's see, 7 p.m. on Friday. And then Saturday morning, we'll be back up at it at 8 a.m. through 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, we're going to be out there again at 8 a.m. through till 3, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And Michelle, how about on the peninsula? Well, there's been a few changes this year as well. Mm -hmm. We are going to be at Coliseum Marketplace at Coliseum Central. The best way to know it is it's in the Sports Authority parking lot, okay. right there between BB and T and the Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about this location. As Jason said, we'll be out there at 5.30 a.m. with 106.9 The Fox and FM 99. We're so excited about our partnership with them. I mean, this event couldn't take place without them. But we start then and we go at the same location until 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. And it's 57 hours. I, don't, I know you talked about 24 hours a day, but it's 57 hours of collecting food. Correct. How, do you keep, how do you keep the excitement up? You know, it's so much fun. We have DJs out there most of the time yeah. that are out there. And we've also got some of the um, talent from Wavy are going to come out there as well during the time period from the Hampton Road Show. So they help keep it fun. Mm -hmm. 106.9 The Fox and FM 99 has tremendously devoted listeners. After 19 years, they know that this event is coming up every year and they get really excited about it. We have all kinds of um, individuals come through and we have all kinds of groups as well. And yeah. so we just, we love the participation, the energy, although it is over 57 hours, the energy is always very, very high for this event. Yeah. And Jason, what are, what are you most excited about? This is your first time being a part of it so yeah this is my first time and I think uh, the thing I'm most excited about is to see the turnout I'm looking forward to the energy of the crowd and mm -hmm. the volume and the support of, of the local community um, we're really hoping you know we've seen a growth every year in this event mm -hmm. based on the numbers that I've seen so I'm looking forward to seeing continued growth there um, and I think that it's just going to be a, a nice opportunity leading into the holidays for all of us, for, sure. for both participants that are bringing the donations in, as well as the volunteers and the staff that are there to help get this food back out to those who need it in our community. Yeah, and I'll tell you, the Hampton Roads community really is just so supportive. So thank you all for being here. We're glad to help you out again this year and look forward to a great event.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Check out your Area Food Bank's website for times and locations. Drive on by and drop off your donation. Every can, every dollar does make a difference. Thanks for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.